here with our, our banquet. Uh, I guess before we start doing the JV, we'll start with JV. You know, Coach Leaves is camera shy, I guess. Uh, I'll go through the thank yous, and we have to thank a lot of people, and hopefully I don't leave anybody off. But uh, thank the Waverly City School Board, Superintendent Mr. Dickens, uh, Mr. Shepard, Mr. Arnett, for allowing us this opportunity to coach these fine young ladies. Uh, appreciate them. The Boosters, Tiger Tailgate, and then some individuals, Lauren Brightfall, who was our trainer for almost the whole year and took care of all our aches and pains. Uh, Byron Ward for keeping the clock. Uh, Micah for filming. I just got along with being the JV coach's son, got to film. Uh, the Ball and Water Girls. We always call her the best water girl in Southern Ohio, but I'm extending that. I think it's all of Ohio. Callie uh, was on top of it, even with COVID. Uh, referees loved it and loved how she took care of you guys. So appreciate her and Karen a few times she helped out. Uh, my father-in-law Chip for doing our MCing, even though sometimes you forget who was starting and our last names. So that's all right. Um, and then some parents. I know Amy Smith and Tana Knight for a lot of the team meals. Uh, Renee Taggett for always volunteering to help out anytime we need somebody to work at the concessions or the boosters. Um, and then a big thank you and shout out to my coaches, Mark, Andrew, and Jason. Without them, I wouldn't know where I'd be at. I mean, from washing uniforms to listening to me rant after losses. So, uh, cheer me on and everything else. I mean, they do a lot for us and a lot for me. And like I said, I can't thank them enough. And especially Coach, Le Coach Leith, who we took over a new house and had our Christmas parties and team meals and found rooms to sleep in and just everything we wanted to do, watch, watch other teams play. We just took over her house. So I appreciate uh, her for offering up her house. Uh, and a couple other special thank yous for Jeremy and Amanda Little for the time they fed us, and especially at the Holiday Classic when we went down there and took over Giovanni's and Mikan and Ace down there and fed us a few times. So appreciate them. And one final one is, she probably won't like this, but we'll do it anyway, is Joe Hornback. Uh, the four years of what she's done for our program, you guys don't even know. Uh, and she don't want you to know, but I'm letting the cat out of the bag. Uh, from gear to whatever we needed, you know, paying for the Christmas party, those little gift cards that add up. I mean, uh, I just can't thank her enough. Always there. If I said I needed a, 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 a sponsor for a fat head, it'd be like, how many you need? Uh, you just don't find those people around, especially for girls basketball. So I thank her for everything she's done for us. And then lastly is my wife, Amy and Addie, uh, for allowing me all this time to uh, coach, which is time consuming. And Amy keeping my book. And kind of got lucky this year with COVID, with cheerleading. She didn't have to travel to away games. So she didn't have as many games to go to this year, which kind of was somewhat a blessing for her. Uh, so appreciate that. So let's go through JV. JV was a tough being a JV player, and it's just the life of girls basketball right now in Southern Ohio. You never know when you're going to play, and if you do play, it's probably two quarter. So you give up a lot of your time and a lot of energy to play a two quarter game, and it's challenging. And sometimes you, you got to question. Is it worth doing? Uh, but you JV players, you hung, you stuck with it, you hung it out. We got down to five players. I know Morgan played her. I'm sure we all played her or sick at some point in time. Uh, that I can't thank you guys enough uh, for making us who we are. And that was a great team, and you guys were a big part of that. So the JV award, uh, Shelby Blanton.
Okay, so now varsity, okay? I've been dreading this day just because it was a great season, tremendous season. You know, the best we've seen in girls basketball here in Waverly in 20 years. So this was kind of like, I know this is the final that we'll be together, the final time. So didn't want to do it. So bear with me. Uh, I do have some stuff typed up, but who knows if I'll even be able to get through it. Uh, just because you guys mean a lot to me and to us as coaches. Uh, finished 16 and eight, uh, 10 and six in the league, was tied for third. Uh, difficult year, just like our banquet here, having to deal with COVID, dealing with masks, um, never knowing you play a game and you never know if you'll get the call the next day, hey, you're quarantined. Uh, it was very stressful. And I just uh, can't thank you guys enough for doing what you had to do to remain healthy. And we never had to sit out for COVID reasons. And that's a testament to you guys. I think we might've been the only team in the league that was like that. So no matter who we played or whatnot, we didn't have to do that because we had somebody test positive or play somebody. So it was really, I thought, the beginning of the year, if we got through half the year, we'd be lucky. And we got through our whole season, and so that's a credit to you guys. Uh, I remember when we first got together, we talked about as coaches, like, how special, and we said it to you numerous times, like, how special you guys could be. And because uh, we just saw the talent. We saw how well you guys got together and got along and really looked out for one another. And that's part of being a team. When you see that you can get along together on and off the court, it goes a long way. You'll win games you probably shouldn't have, but if you don't have that type of camaraderie, you tend to lose games you, sh you should have won. And I don't think we had a game like that. So that's a credit to you guys. And uh, it was just very fun to coach you guys. I, I, I mean, I wish I was an English teacher instead of a math teacher because my adjectives aren't the best. But it was a great, we enjoyed it, we enjoyed pushing you, even though at times you probably didn't like the eyebrow for you being raised or being yelled at to get, what did I do? I didn't do anything. It was because we saw your potential. And that's always scary for a coach. Uh, because we want to try to get you that potential. And getting you there means pushing you. So some days we may not have got along, but in the end, it was in your best interest and in the team's best interest. So a lot of accomplishments this year. Uh, four times Holiday Classic Championship. So you seniors never, you know what it is to lose one of those games. That's a credit to you guys. But it's four times in a row. It's amazing. Uh, sectional champs, first time in 20 years. Uh, thousand point scorers with Paige and Zoe. Uh, won seven games in a row at one time, and I went back and looked at it. I didn't realize it at the time, but we went like a month, like mid-December to mid-January before we lost in the game of all game. It was like we showed up, we took care of business, we enjoyed it, sometimes went to feast and bottle to celebrate, and uh, just kept that winning vibe going. And then you guys gave me a great accomplishment for my 100th win. And there's not a group that I, I wouldn't want to do it with. So I'm glad you guys gave that to me. So. Some things about the team that people out there may know, may not know, but they did a team questionnaire. I don't think I ever saw the results. Oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't know how to put that in there. <laughs> so we, so we did that. We had the team questionnaire going on. And of course, we had a blog there for a couple of times. Twice. Twice. So if you haven't watched that, you guys need to get on there and watch that. Where can they find that at, Zoe? There you go. Zoe Smith on YouTube. So there you go. Zoe Smith, YouTube. Find that. It's hilarious. Okay. That's the only thing that got me through the Oak Hill game, was watching that vlog. Uh, okay, so let's just go through awards so I have plenty enough time because Paige is signing today and I don't want to run over. Uh, so we'll go through the awards. I know Abby Marshall's not here, but she got her varsity letter. Um, she was a great fit for us. You know, she came in, we asked her to play multiple, multiple positions. Learned several plays, she wasn't accustomed to that. We wouldn't run a lot of sets. So trying to learn those, uh, Jason gave her a nickname, Bot. Bot. <laughs> uh, she probably wasn't fond of that, so sorry, but sometimes we don't get to pick her nickname. 
So, uh, because you always seem sometimes lost out there, just trying to just, hey, don't, don't mind me, I'm just trying to get through this. Uh, but it was a great fit and a great personality to bring in and just never said anything, just showed up and didn't, took care of her business. And she did score her first two points in the varsity player down at Valley, so shout out to Abby for that. So, Abby Marshall. And Cooper, who's not here either. Uh, man, you just gotta get to know Cooper. I mean, I just didn't know all the personality that Coop had, or has. Uh, but one thing I really admire with the girls, the JV, and especially ones that dress varsity, if you ever saw our bench, during a game, it was outstanding. They would be cheering, chanting defense, fully engaged, fully involved in ball games. And that was, Coop was one of the leaders in that. Uh, and she scored her first two points down at Wheelersburg on a nice pass by DT for an and one. Now she missed a free throw, but that's all right. Uh, but Coop was just, uh, as Coach Wright, I think, gave her the nickname, right? Skeeter. So uh, Cooper gets her first of the year award and her first letter. So we're getting Cooper. Hey, Morton Crabtree. Woo! She played hurt too. One of the many ones that played hurt. Uh, another cheerleader on the bench. Uh, and like I said, if you go back and watch games, it's so fun. I was doing it today. And somebody make a three in the bench, just drop Abby, Morgan, Livia. I mean, just go nuts. Uh, and then what I found more, even more rewarding is when they got into ball games, the varsity starters and ones that normally played a lot of varsity minutes did the same thing for them when they were in the ball game. When Coop made her and won, I mean, we were down like 30 points, and we acted like we won, you know, state title. And that's part of who this team was. Uh, but uh, Morgan, just an ultra competitor, uh, just a gamer. And she played a lot like in, in scrimmages and showed that she could compete defensively. And I think she's going to be an elite defender. We're going to work on her offensive skills, get them a little bit better. Uh, but had two points at Eastern, and uh, I just love her attitude. It, it's, it's winning, and I don't care if I have to dive on the ball, on the floor to get a ball. I don't care if I have to play 20 minutes. I don't care if I play 30 seconds. It's all about winning. And so we love that attitude that she brings. So, we're in there. Yay! Kelly Stewart, second year award. Yay, nine points a game, which was third on the team, and almost six rebounds, which was also third. Yeah, stand up and enjoy yourself here. Uh, just athletic as all get out. And we always, if you don't know, as coaches, we just get so frustrated. Because uh, I'd be like, I would. I'd be like, she should just fall out of bed and have 10 points and 10 rebounds. I mean, she should just start every game 10 points, 10 rebounds. She has all the tools to be an elite player. And uh, best game was Against Minford, 19 points, eight rebounds, seven steals, seven deflections. So, excellent game. Uh, probably what I remember, and again, I was watching a lot of film, is against, I think it was you know, Southwestern late in the ball game. I think we're up at the time. They're trying to make a post entry pass with like 20 seconds to go. Might have been in the regulation. And it comes to this side, so she has to rotate over. Paige comes out and guards, like, brought our purple, her zone, and throw it in there, and she deflects the ball out of bounds. In the process, it looked like she also got a face burn, a floor burn there, but you remember that? Tripping over the girl, and tossing it out of bounds? Oh, you did. <laughs> Banged your head off the floor. Kind of reminded me of Michaela a little bit, that she does that. Uh, but just going after it. Game's on the line, selling out to get us the W. She did that. And another play, I really remember that showed up uh, with Jackson game. Is Carly, I think, made a, a pass across the middle court, Carly or Zoe, and she caught it between like three people and gathered herself, which we parked on her forever and ever and ever, play off two feet and went up strong and laid it in. So, just shows her athleticism and sky's the limit for her. She's got a lot of potential. So, 
We're excited for the next two years with Kelly. Yeah. Hey, Malou. Yeah. 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 the silver certificate for GPA. So, uh, from the Coach Association, easy for me to say, uh, had 10 three-point field goals, uh, was a really good fit for our team, gave us another three-point shooter, gave us that toughness that she displayed at McLean uh, when I thought she was going to get in a fight. Uh, but probably the most important, probably, I know it's important for her because she's been playing fights in this championship game, but... Again, a bench reaction, and, and, and Coach Knight gave me a hard time for my reaction when she made the three and, in the second half right in front of the bench. I went nuts, and well, how, did I, how did I do, Coach, do you remember? <laughs> you, you look like a, a Hawaiian doing the, what's, what's that, haku or whatever when they do that. Yeah, I mean, I was saying, like, yeah. You you know, know, uh, uh, I was so excited for her, and for us, but so excited for her. Then I realized that she could shoot NBA threes down at Wheelersburg. And, and here against, uh, I can't remember who it was, she shot one over on that side from the uh, So, But just gave us, again, that grit, that toughness. And that's what winning teams have to have. And it took her a while to learn our system. We run a lot of sets, like I said before when I was talking about Abby. But once she got keyed in, what we wanted her to do, she gave us that added depth. And we appreciate her and we look forward to her. DT. Okay, he gets a silver one. Wow. And all silver means is your junior. Uh, seniors get the gold one. So the, that's all the silver means. So she led us in uh, three point field goals this year. Uh, man, another one, all the tools. Another one kind of we scratch our heads and get upset with just because we see what she can be and then uh, get mad and say, I don't know why she's not scoring more and get more rebounds and whatnot, but uh, just us as coaches, we're never happy. So, uh, but went off with the, against Van Craig. I forgot about that. I did. How many points do you end up with? Do you remember? I think it was 16. 14? 16. 14 points, four threes. Uh, three assists, and but my favorite after all that, all three, I'm a three point shooter, was when you went with your left hand and did kind of the scoop shot around the defender down there and laid it up and in. And I always told Coach Leith, I like when we do 60 and four, because I'll watch DT do left handed layups all day long. She looks like she should be left handed. So, I mean, credit to her and her work ethic, and she gets, she gets us one more year, and again, look for some big things from DT next year. So, Delaney. Sarah Thompson, Germany. <laughs> Sarah from Bulgaria. She has a lot of them. She has all kinds of them. Another yeah. silver certificate. Uh, five points a game, six rebounds, which was second in our team in rebounding. Led us in field goal percentage at 49%. And was first in our VPS stat. So you guys may say, what's VPS? Well, VPS takes everything you do puts into this big formula and spits out a number. And 1.1 is about, one's good, 1.1 is really good. It's at 1.42, which is outstanding. But it takes your shots, it takes how many you make, it takes rebounds, assists, steals, turnovers, everything you imagine. And she led us in that category. Uh, had a great game against Jackson here the first time, double-double, 11 points, 13 rebounds. Also had a double-double at Val against Valley, 10 and 10. Uh, I remember a couple of her block shots. One against Davis against Benton County. And another one here against, against Claxton where it was like volleyball spike. And spiked it straight down the floor and it went out of bounds. And of course, how does Sarah react to that? I think she blocks the shot and the ball goes out of bounds. And <laughs> <laughs> Not like, yeah, or whatever. Just turn and walk again. I did that. That was me. What I remember, though, and it didn't happen in the game, is at practice. So at practice, we try to draw up some plays every now and again. Mark does it a lot. So I thought, let me try this. I'm going to draw up a sideline out of bounds play. Sarah, I want you to catch the ball, do a no-look pass to 
Yeah, I think it was Zoe or Carly. <laughs> well, I, I showed her like this direction, but in actuality, she had to be facing this direction. So she catches it. She doesn't know to look past. Oh, it was pretty. I think it went right to like Morgan Crabtree, the other way to the deep end for a layup. I said, oh, what was I thinking? I forgot. But Sarah, you got to tell her exactly where to line up and how to throw the ball, and she will do it. But do not vary from that. And that's what I learned. And DT's like, yeah, you should know better than that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now for our seniors. This is where I had tough for me. I try not to look at them. I look over here. Um, mainly just because I've been here a long time now. Uh, and so, well, for most of all of you, uh, only know me for, as a varsity coach. Uh, but I, this is one of my first groups that went all the way through. It was my first group that we really started doing travel ball from the very beginning. From third grade, we said, hey, we need a travel ball team. And Coach Knight and Coach Murphy uh, took them along and took them everywhere. But they did the travel ball third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade. So it was the one group that I, I knew Hank was going to have the experience, but they just kind of had it when it comes to basketball thing and, and just sports in, in general. Editor. Uh, the ball was on the floor, they were going to get the ball. They were aggressive and they hated to lose. Just hated losing. It wasn't going to be an option. And so they had those key ingredients. So from the time on, I was like, man, I don't know if I can keep winning four ball games a year to wait for this group to get here. Because uh, it was some lean years when I took over. Uh, but I did because I saw what they could be. And when you start mixing classes together, Start as they advance. When you get to high school, you can start throwing a couple classes ahead of them, a couple classes below them together, and you get seeing the, as a coach, varsity coach, you get to see the big picture. You guys don't until you really get to high school because you get to play with your own class all the way through until you get to high school. And then that's kind of news for you, but as a head coach and varsity assistant and all, we get to think, okay, we can mix these together. We're going to be pretty good. So we had to wait for that. And I will tell you, you got 52 wins as a class, which is the record since I've been coaching here. So for my 12 years, that's the most for any class. That's 13 wins a season. That's outstanding. That means a lot of winning seasons. Uh, I'd say 16 wins this year. Uh, as you can see with their accolades in and out of the classroom and just their personalities, uh, man, their future is bright as can be as, as adults. something to see and yeah. I'm gonna miss being around. That's why I didn't want this today. Uh, yeah, I hate this thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't either. I'm gonna have to be Andrew. Uh, so let me go to something else real quick so I can re recover here. We need to acknowledge by the Ohio uh, General Assembly for our record, every our accomplishments this year. I posted it on Facebook, but I want to make sure I talk about that in the banquet. So they recognized us for winning a sectional championship and all of our accolades, which is really nice. So that's, again, that's for you guys and all the hard work and the effort and everything you put into it. Give me a few minutes to recruit. Okay, start with Michaela. The gold certificate. Again, I always mispronounce this, but signed to go to Russia. Russia. Russia to play soccer. Uh, probably to the casual fan, they wouldn't recognize the importance of what Michaela brought to our team and our program. Uh, but as coaches. We knew exactly what she brought for us. Uh, kind of like old reliable, which is a good thing. When she was in the ball game, we knew what she was going to give us. We knew off 
offensive play, she's always going to be in the right spot. Uh, defensively, it's just going to be a grinder, be a physical presence defensively. Nobody's going to, going to let anybody just push her around. They're going to have to earn every inch they got from her. Um, undersized in our defense, playing a wing. And in our wing, you have to drop on the weak side and get rebounds. She gets a living car beat out of her, especially the last few games in Benton County and Jackson, trying to get rebounds against girls that are a lot bigger than her, height-wise and everything else-wise. Uh, but just the grit and the glue, and we just, I just knew, go, put, go to ball game, she's not going to mess up. And then we didn't realize all her ball handling skills that she had at <laughs> Willersburg, driving through everybody. I'm like, wow, she is another point guard. I didn't even realize I had another point guard. Uh, but another three-point shooter, uh, had a great opening game down at West with 10 points, uh, four steals, ended up with six rebounds at, against Valley. Uh, but again, just what everything, if you know her, this, it is, this is who she is. She's a team first player. And it's tough in team sports because we all have our individual accolades we want to have. We all do. That's part of it. And you should have that. But the team always, in the end, has to come first before the individual. The individual stuff will come if you put team first. And she's always been a team first player. She did her time. You people on JV, she spent her time on JV. She did that kept working and working and just asking whatever we did. Say, hey, Caleb, I need you to play JV tonight. Volunteered okay. last year. Yeah, volunteered last year to play JV because we're low on numbers. I mean, just team first player. And, and in life and as a coach, that's what you want. And uh, But I remember her again, the Holiday Classic, Harley Grove. It was kind of like drift that the boys run, jumped out of bounds on the baseline, kicked it over to Michaela, knocked down a three. Beginning of the second half. It was a one point game at that point in time, put us up four. So, big time player, was never scared of the, of the moment. Didn't matter in the ball game, she went it in there. And I can't thank her enough for everything she's meant to me and to our, our program. So, Michaela. Okay, Paige. Paige gets her third year award. I'll go through some of her stats so I don't forget them. But scored 1,024 points for her career. And grabbed 787 rebounds. So for me, that she'd be second all time for rebounding for me. And I think third, third points wise. But uh, almost 12 points a game, which was second. Over eight rebounds a game, which was first. 70% from the foul line, which was first. Um, and then almost two steals a game, which was third. So, and deflections, she ended up third, but I always thought she should have been first the way she spiked the basketball and hurt it so much. So, but she got her that started getting steals towards the end, which it took us a while to get to convince her. You can get that steal instead of spiking that thing, <laughs> playing volleyball. But uh, some more accolades, first team all district for the coaches. Second team all district for the Riders for the AP. Honorable mention all Ohio. First team all league. Holiday Classic Alternative Team. I think that rounds them out. Signing today at 2 o'clock for Clark State, so I've got to hurry up. Oh, yeah, I was invited for the Sosa All Star game, too. Uh, seven double doubles for this year. Amazing. Seven. So she ended up with nine games with more than 10 rebounds, and four times she scored more than 20 points. Uh, held for a phenomenal game, 22 points, 14 rebounds, but somehow in the midst of that, injured her leg, right? She played like a one leg. Uh, and broke my nose. And broke, yeah, and, yeah collided and broke Zoe's nose at half court. Uh, Figured out she can shoot from the outside. She became a three-point shooter at the end of the year, yes. Uh, Jackson, I, 
just about to pick out one besides the Hillsboro game, which would be the Jackson game, uh, the tournament game. 23 points, but 22 of those were in the second half. Uh, and really just said, you know what, we're winning this. And as a group, we did. And uh, was not going to let us lose that ball game. Uh, a couple other things, I remember she had a big shot. Game winning. It turned out to be a game winning shot against Oak Hill from the elbow. The game up with South Webster to force it to overtime with a spin. <laughs> right hand shot. Normally it's a spin left hand. This was a spin right hand. Um, but just another one that's just relentless when it came to rebounding. As you can see, she's not six foot. But it's to get the rebound she got, it was just relentless. Uh, pure determination and a lot of meanness because you got to be mean to get rebounds. Just became a big time shooter and a scorer when we needed her the most. At the crunch time, we needed a free throw, we needed a shot, she could knock it down. So we wish her the best at Clark State. And uh, again, I can't thank Paige enough for what she's meant to me and our program. So Paige Carter. Carly Knight. Seven, almost seven points a game, which is four. Uh, second and assist, which mainly because she became a point guard here when Zoe got hurt. Uh, of course, first in steals, first in deflections, and second in field goal percentage behind Sarah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. You didn't know that, did you? So I had to go back and double check. So for steals, since I've been coached, she's second all time for me for steals with 255. And fourth in assists. Look at that. <laughs> to go with, what, a thousand digs in volleyball and almost a thousand. It would have been a thousand kills if we didn't lose a few games. Um, and has, has and had the opportunity really for Second team all SOC, honorable mention all district for coaches. Um, this was kind of amazing, went back to look. Two times she had at least 12 deflections in a game. Uh, best game was against Eastern, 16 points, 12 deflections, eight steals, six assists. That's when we played them here, and it was from point guard. So, Again, another one I just always worried about Carly because Carly was never basketball first. And it was probably basketball after everything else. <laughs> um, and she told me many times, if it wasn't for you or dad, I wouldn't play. I think she finally found this year that, you know, there is a part of her that does love basketball. It just took her a while to get to that part. And uh, just when Zoe got hurt, she just came right over and said, I'll, I'm a point guard now. Didn't have to ask, came over, volunteered, I'm, I'm doing it. And because we were kind of like, she's going to have to. Kelly, me, Ava, some, we were out trying something, but we're about to rotate. And kind of took it, took it bull by its horns, and we thought, okay, that we can keep DT in her normal spot, and Ava in her normal spot, and Kelly in her normal spot, and she's now the point guard. And uh, it just blew me away because we knew she had it, but when the game, one thing for sure, when the game, ball was in the air and we're playing their game and it's on, no bigger competitor. I mean, it's like, I don't care. I'm normally not the point guard, but you're not taking the ball from me. And that was just the mentality that she had.
that's the mentality she had defensively. Like, you're not scoring on me. So that's what impressed me so much with the Eastern game is 16 points. You have to shoot from the point guard spot. And then grab, had 12 deflections. So she didn't sacrifice what she meant to us defensively. In my opinion, I think the coach has got it wrong, the SOC. SOC defense player of the year, in my opinion. Hands down, not even close. But that's just my opinion. Uh, just caused havoc for us at the front of our press and our defense. Uh, and uh, again, not only, you got to understand when she went to point guard, on the offensive side, like in running our plays, but then she had to take over that spot out of bounds play. So out of bounds plays, then you definitely have to know where everybody's going because you got to know the reads and who's the first look and who's the third look and who's the second look. And she took that over and we didn't really miss a beat with it. She knew it and made some great passes from that. And uh, the biggest thing I remember competitive wise, again, we get back to that Southwestern game. Claxton had the ball, she's driving. Carly deflects it, the ball goes over that way towards our bench and goes out of bounds in front of our bench with like two seconds to go. Uh, we end up winning that ball game because we were up at the time, up one. But she helped out, wasn't going to allow their best player to beat us because she knows, I mean, smart defensive player. And I would always challenge her. I challenged her more last year than I did really this year in terms of like, ah, uh, Wong please said you can't guard her or whatnot. You really didn't have to do that to her this year. She was ready to go. So from the beginning, uh, I just knew I didn't have to worry about that this year. So I'm so proud of her uh, and going and watching her and Paige and Zoe and traveling all over and riding in the vans with the Knights to see them uh, brings back a lot of memories and stuff that I'll always cherish. So Carly Knight. Zoe Smith. First in scoring, uh, first in assists, second in deflections, end up with 1136 points, which is second for me, uh, 479 assists, which is first, and 275 steals, which is also first for a career for me. So, big numbers. Court signed earlier, I guess late last year, uh, to go play at Rio Grande. So, again, we've had three, and again, Carly has, still has her chance if she wants to go that route to play. First team all district, coaches, second team all district, uh, AP, honorable mention all, all Ohio, uh, four times. Academic all Ohio this year, so it's only the second time I've ever as a coach had somebody be academic all quite the honor, academic all uh, Was a North-South All-Star Game alternate. Again, it's only the second one I've had. Uh, first team All-League, four times. Holiday Classic All-Tournament team. Uh, two games with 20 more points. Four games with more than 10 assists. Uh, Triple-double, Hillsboro. 14 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists. Two double doubles with a broken nose. Two double doubles. One was Zane Trace and one was Jackson. Uh, I think it was the first time I played Jackson. Yeah, the first time I played Jackson. Um,
Carly and where the lot of recipients on that, just throw it out there, let Carly go get it, get a lamp, and anybody else. But if you knew that you could sprint the floor, if you're open, you were going to get the basketball. Uh, behind the back, yeah. At Eastern. At Eastern, yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that one. Um, but just made life a lot easier. When you don't have to worry about pressure, you can call out any play and just be like, okay, get us in and let's go. If it takes me 20 seconds to call a play, which sometimes it would, they'd be looking at me, call a play. <laughs> what do you want us to run? <laughs> uh, uh, so you, you could maintain that pressure and get us wait for me to call it out. what impressed me most shockingly is when she got hurt. Not that she got hurt, but who she became once she got hurt. You know, a lot of people, your senior year, getting a high ankle sprain that really is a good six weeks to heal. Uh, your, your season and your high school career is over. Uh, and she put in the time with Lauren, but she didn't walk away from the team. She was there at practice. She was there at games. I remember, uh, I don't know who was more excited in the McLean game when we made that big run and they had to call timeout in the first half. And I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm running out on the floor, you know, doing my thing. And I look over and Zoe's right beside me. So I had to watch the video to see and, I, and some pictures. Some people got pictures of it. She's hopping out there and was excited and screaming just like I was. So that meant a lot because uh, it'd be e easy for a lot of us just to say, you know what, I can't play, so I'm packing it up and I'll just sit over here. And she didn't do that. Uh, countless passes, countless scoring. I thought down at Minford she showed a lot. Uh, down there was hit three threes, just had everything going for us down there, her passing, her scoring. Was able to do that, I mean, we were almost unbeatable because we could always find Paige to score, Carly to score, Sarah to score, Kelly. It was just like, what are you going to do? You can't double her now. Uh, and just made life, to be honest, hard on it on the opposing team and their defense. As a coach, I wouldn't want to go on through that. So it made life easier for us and for our team. Uh, probably, again, all the attributes. One thing that I remember is the Oak Hill game here. Uh, at the end of the ball game, we're winning by one. Okay, we're playing defense. Now, who would have thought I said, you know, one thing I want to remember about Zoe is defense. It's not like passing. Uh, but Clarkson, or what Clarkson, Chambers got the ball at the high post. Not much time left. Looking to pass. Zoe comes over from traffic, jumps up, knocks the ball, goes down the other end, gets it game's over. So out of all the things to remember, that's one of the one things I remember is that defense, that IQ, uh, just to understand time and situation at the end of a ball game and to come up and make a play defensive side of the ball, not the offensive side of the ball. Uh, but again, uh, just so used to these four, always just putting in having subs to go with them and find the fifth and having subs and we were deep this year, eight, nine, we could go. And I think that was a testament to you group, you girls, and for why we went 16 and eight was our depth. It wasn't just one, two people. We had eight, nine, and we did not drop off one bit. And that was the big thing coaches would always tell us. Um, so to close it out, we wish Zoe nothing but the best at Rio. And to close it out to you guys so you know, when we play Fenton County, even though we got beat by 30, the first thing Coach Bentley says, and you understand they got beat in the championship game, Division II. At that time, you know the toughest team they played and who made them work the hardest? Was you guys, was us. And that's a credit to you guys. They said they had never seen anybody play as fast and up tempo like we played. And again, uh, that's how we love to play. That's who we are. That's it's been a, a tremendous season, full of great accomplishments, 
and that's for you guys to always cherish. And as we always talk about at the end of the year, what you miss is not only the winning and that stuff, but what you miss is the hanging out. I can talk about the bus trips, uh, the goofy things, the hanging out at Coach Lee's house as we take over, taking the two hour naps, you know, uh, and, and that's what you'll miss. But you guys have that in common, you're a championship team. So you'll always have that thread, sectional champs. So nobody can take that away. That's a bond that will always tie you together. So I appreciate you guys giving me the opportunity to coach, and I love you guys to death. Okay?